Hey guys, this is just a little test video that I'm going to do, just to kind of show you what, I, what I'm using uh, with my e-cigs, and uh, I'm about to leave, but uh, I just want to show you this real quick. First of all, I do the, the model that I'm using is the 510, and uh, with the manual battery, it happens to be one of the batteries that has a, a sealed end on it. And um, let me just go through some of the other things I have, if I can get this on. All right. PCC. I love it. It's great. What I did is uh, modify it very easily, very simple modification. Uh, some people have had difficulties with uh, this cart in particular, where it goes down and then it gets kind of hooked on to that little hook on the spring. What I did, if you can see, is I put one of those rubber uh, car condoms and I stuffed that down there and now whenever I put my cart in, it doesn't go in all the way. Of course, you got I have one cart in here with an atomizer. I've been trying to do a bunch of mods, so I have a, a lot of different things in here. This one, let me see what we have here. I have one version of uh, a tea bag, pyramid tea bag plug, and that one. This one I think is a uh, pre filled regular cart, and uh, this one I think is also a different modified uh, tea bag plug. Let's see, there's nothing else in there except for that little plug. I think I might try to make one, make another one. I'm just about finished with one of my uh, what I currently have in here, so I'm thinking about refilling it. So let's see what we have in here. In here, I think I have not necessarily the shredded, but I have a frayed uh, tea bag pyramid tea bag. What I'm going to do is if I can fold this in half. Let me go ahead and dry this out a little bit. What I'm going to do is just going to press it down a little bit on a napkin. Dry it out so it's a little easier to work with. And go ahead fold this in half. And I'd be able to should be able to stuff that right back in here. I'm getting liquid on, on my hands, but I don't mind right now. Okay, that should be able to fit in there. Wipe up a little bit. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drop some. This thing is uh, the dropper that I'm carrying around. I got this from the, the drugstore, and it is um, for one of those breath mint drops. This one is from Scope, as you can see right there. And uh, I like it. It uh, fits in my pocket. I don't have to mess with the screw in it. Yes, you have to uh, make sure that you flip the, cop, the, the top back on when you're done with it. But for the most part, it's really easy to use. Let's see if we can just put some in here. So what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and putting uh, some liquid straight, straight in. Can I focus there? Straight in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my frayed or shredded. Uh, Tea bag material. Stuff that back in here. Just like that. But I'm putting it in a little differently. I'm going to go ahead and what I did is I folded it, put it in, and it, it should just go right by where uh, the cart starts to um, crease in. I'm going to cut a little bit off the top.
Wow, that is coming up on there really good. I might actually cut off a little bit more. Pull it up a little bit so I can get to it. I probably should have done that before instead of putting liquid in. Don't really want to waste all that liquid, but I'll put that in so that it just goes up there flush. Now, what I don't want this to do is I don't want it to leak at all, so let me just go ahead and make sure it doesn't leak at all. Okay, so I have that shredded uh, pyramid tea bag uh, plug. So basically, from here down, it's just liquid, and from here up is the shredded tea bag. Now I'm going to shake it up a little bit, tap it, and um, there's no dripping at all, no leaking. If I pull this out again a little bit, now that plug is saturated with with juice. And if I, I'm going to risk some liquid getting on my hands, but you can still see that there's liquid in there. And I can probably put another couple of drops in, but I probably wasted a couple of drops on my fingers. So I'm just going to put. That plug back in there. Wipe off my fingers a little bit. Cart. Put this in. There you go. Okay, wipe that off. Let's see how this works. working pretty good. Uh, another thing that I've been using is uh, hand sanitizer spray. Now this one is a generic one that uh, a friend of mine got from a uh, trade show and it had uh, a logo on here and contents. I have yet to been able to find this out at a drugstore or anything that quite fits my 501 the way I like it. Um, this fits perfectly in here. It, um, it rattles around a little bit. If I get too annoyed with it, what I have done is I actually put another one of those uh, condoms in the bottom of there, so it doesn't so it doesn't leak at all. But um, with this plug, I'm confident that even if it does move around in here, it's not going to leak at all. And uh, what I like about it, uh, people have also looked for things that. Uh, kind of hold their e-cig so that it's not sitting on the desk. What I've found is that you can actually, what's cool is you can actually take this and because of where the button is, you can actually smoke it while it's in here. And then leave it on, on, the, on the desk or on the table or something and it does not touch the, uh, does not touch the desk. And I can uh, put it back in there. Well, that's pretty much all I have. It's uh, this scope thing by PCC. Demonstrated a little bit about the uh, about the, the new plug that I'm using and this um, scope dropper. And that's all I'm using. I'm having fun with this. It's about a, a month that I've been um, vaping. Truly enjoy it. Have not touched uh, an analog cigarette since. All right, guys. Take it easy.